What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. Leaving what has to be one of the... Make a U-turn at Village Plains Boulevard. Okay. Nicest gas stations I've ever been to in my life. Then turn right. I mean, it's just all decked out. Um, so, we're going camping. And we're headed down to David Crockett right. State Park. Then turn right. David Crockett State Park. That's where I keep getting my east, things right. right. Hush. Uh, so anyway, um, turn just thought we'd open it up. We're already right. away from home, but turn left. I forgot to put path. gas in the truck last night. Okay, give me a break. <laughs> and as you can see, holding the camera right now is Chloe. Hi. Um, but that's it for now. Good Lord, that was all over the place. Um, we'll be back with you. I guess we'll be back with you when we get to camp. So see you then. show you camp and stuff when we get back to camp. We're going to explore a little bit of the park. Now, I didn't get to explore last time I was here, so this is pretty cool. I guess it comes in right there, runs down, hits the water wheel, and ends up down there. Alright, back in a little bit. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midton Outdoors. We're at the campgrounds. Me and Chloe. She's wanting to touch the water. I said go for it. I need a stream. So don't get it. Our camp is right up there. Oh, I just about fell in. She just about fell in. Jeez. Anyway, uh I just wanted to show you the little creek. It's down here. Pretty sweet. We're gonna film more tonight. I got a feeling this was way up here a few days ago. Uh, matter of fact, you can see the all the 
brush blown in. That's how high the water was. It was on all up into there. Water is still running down the hill right there. You can see natural spring there. But anyways, if we get to doing camp things, we'll come bring you back. We've just been kind of hanging out today. Drove around the park a little bit and walked around a few places and that's all we're doing. Chloe's doing her filming thing. Remember her video will be out no, on the Thursday after this video goes up on Tuesday. So anyway, we'll bring you back in a little while. Good morning, everybody. It's Patrick. She did it. It actually hit 32 degrees a little bit ago, so she has actually earned her cold weather camping by my standards. You can sleep in 32 degrees, you can, uh, you're a winter camper. Um, but it hit 32 a little bit ago. She says she slept warm. I hope she did. She had, like I said, she had a 20 degree bag. I got a negative 20 degree bag, so I was kind of hot last night. I'll be honest with you. Um, until it got later in the night and got cold, I was hot. <clears throat> but <clears throat> we're gonna get up. We're gonna go uh, eat breakfast here at the park. And uh, we'll bring you back for more here in a little bit, I guess. Maybe bring you back from the restaurant, I don't know. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it was a good night last night. Oh, we blurry. Oh, why are we blurry? He's out of focus. I don't know why it's doing it. I think it's cold. I think it may have a little deep, a little frosty frost on the. I understand it. Yep. Yeah. All right, we'll see. You. Bring it back here in a little bit. But uh, she slept good, and uh, it's chilly this morning. Oh, it cleared up. So let's go eat some breakfast and uh, get on our day. So this is a bald eagle nest viewing area. And what they're showing you is across the lake here, and these trees is a bald eagle nesting area. So I don't think there's anything up there today. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What's going on everybody? We're at the end of our camping trip here at Davy Crockett State Park. And I think I brought you this pretty landscape last time I was here. It was just gorgeous. Beautiful park. Beautiful, beautiful park. So if you're ever in Southern Middle Tennessee in Lawrenceburg, looking for a place to camp, David Crockett State Park, I highly recommend it because it's a nice place to stay. Watch your camping sites though. Some of them are literally like this. No fun to can't sleep in or put a tent in anyway. If you're in an RV, you're good to go. Um, 
they have 30 amp service that's something else this is the first park I've ever been to that didn't have 110 plugs in them so that uh, something we hit last night but uh anyway there's chloe say bye chloe bye so anyway there's i'm gonna leave you that landscape one more time and uh make sure you subscribe oh by the way my affiliate links in the bottom amazon and uh swift wick socks which i'm wearing a pair of this morning this is my cold weather Swift Wick socks. Go check them out if you buy anything from Swift Wick. Bit 10 Outdoors, get something from it. Same thing with my Amazon links. If you uh, do my Amazon links, Bit 10 Outdoors, well, we get a little, little money back and helps fund some of these trips. And me and this gal are gonna be taking some more trips this year, plus some other people. Uh, we've got that trip to East Tennessee we're probably gonna do in April or May. Sometime, we don't know yet um where we're going to the abandoned railroad and doing some jeeping things with the jeep and uh that's it for now so chloe what do we do on this channel be prepared that's right be prepared see you on the next one